Hey you guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe to my channel. If you would like to keep up with me, make sure you're following me on all my social media sites. Make sure you thumbs up this video and make sure you check out SavvyNaturalista.com for all your skincare needs. Miracle Glow Oil as well as Laramar Elixir. And in this episode of which one would you rather buy? Today we are going to test out this Freeman mask with, I have to find it, the L'Oreal mask. So the Freeman charcoal mug mask is actually a detoxifying mask. And this one is actually a charcoal mud detoxifying mask. And I decided to put them to the test which one is better than the other and which one would you rather buy. So this one contains three pure clays, one being uh, Kale and Calais, Marlonite clay, and I think the other clay they have, I'm looking at my computer. So I think the other clay they have is kaolin clay marinolite clay and i don't know uh, lava clay so it's three clays and then there's charcoal powder this one only has this one has two clays being bentonite clay and kaolin clay so those are the two clays in this one and then they do have charcoal uh powder and then they have black sugar glycerin and a lot of extracts and this one is a little bit more on, I would say the non uh, clean side if we're comparing the both of them so this one has a lot of polysorbate 20 this one has citric acid I'm talking about the um, the L'Oreal one this one will run you $12.95 but I will say I'm looking at the L'Oreal website exclusively but I have seen it for $4. I've seen it for $6.95. So depending on where you look or where you go, I've seen this at Walmart for $7, $8. The highest I've seen it. When it first came out, I want to say it was $16, but they've reduced the price significantly. So right now, right now on L'Oreal website, we're on you $12.95. But I've seen it at Walmart for $8.95. And at some other places, you can find it for $6. 95 and this one is the same wherever you go it's about six dollars the cheapest being five dollars at walmart go freeman go freeman it's your birthday get busy let me say go l'oreal it's your birthday <laughs> get busy because i'm saying if i y'all may say oh you being biased you already said go freeman it's your birthday we gonna party like it's your birthday we gonna sip a cardi like it's your birthday because we don't <laughs> okay so now let's do swatching i'm the queen of squat swatching skincare items okay so as always this one's a little bit watery i think we've compared this one like 50 million times but as you can see it's a little watery i'm gonna do a close-up i am the ugliest swatcher i am the ugliest swatcher ever i swear this is what it looks like can y'all see it's a little watery, a uh, clean scent, not one of my favorite scents, but it's a clean scent. And now let's do the L'Oreal. The L'Oreal is a little thicker, I guess. It's funny because they both start off with water and the L'Oreal is much thicker. So that's L'Oreal. Can you see? They really look the same except the, um, the Freeman one is a little more watery. But they really look the same. Okay, so if I'm comparing both scents, I prefer the Freeman scent because the Freeman scent has less of a perfume fragrance to me. It's not as loud. But, you know, I'm really like one of those chicks that don't really like scents that much. Y'all know that, but I'm just saying. So... Freeman is going on this side of my face and L'Oreal is going on this side. So we are going to proceed to apply. Actually, because this is more watery, I think it's going to dry quicker. So I think we should do L'Oreal first because I feel like L'Oreal is not going to dry as fast as Freeman would. So let's just do L'Oreal first. I don't know where my brush is or my spatula. Remember back in the olden days of this channel that I had a brush and a spatula and I used to smear it. I don't know what happened to them. <laughs> they ceased to exist. So 
there we go so this is the l'oreal what do you guys think oh my god you guys oh child i see why all i'm gonna say is this y'all all i'm gonna say is this now i see why kylie jenner is a billionaire honey that's all i'm gonna say <laughs> She charge y'all, uh, uh, we'll charge you for everything. We'll charge you for everything, honey. We'll charge you just to see her. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ooh, money, money, money. Money. Go Kylie. Kylie, I, I swear, uh, you know, I should do like an expose on you paying $125. First of all, I'm going to save all this for my walnut scrub video, but I just have something to say. She charges you $125. I'm going to repeat this in my walnut scrub video because I have to vent. But she charged you $125 for uh, a kit, right? And then won't give you free shipping. And it sold out. Like, I went on the site to buy the walnut scrub it sold out in 30 minutes. So people pay $8.95. Uh, it's beyond. I don't understand it. But that's just me. Okay, so now that the uh, L'Oreal one is on my face, we're going to add Freeman. So I want to say this. Both masks actually do the same thing. That's why I decided to see which. Oh, good grief. It is splatter all over me. Oh, my God. So that's why I decided to say which one would you rather buy because they both detoxify your face in 10 minutes and they're supposed to give you reveal bright, youthful looking skin. So I'm just, you know, comparing. So I know you get way more with the Freeman one, I will say. So even if you're paying $6, you're getting six ounces and uh, I think the... L'Oreal one, you're if you're even paying six dollars, you're going to get about an ounce of it. I mean, it's not a lot in that little product thing, so you're getting about an ounce. So, we're gonna see which one would you rather buy. They're both drugstore brands, so they're really affordable, they're not high end. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna see which one would you rather buy, L'Oreal or Freeman. Go L'Oreal. I was about to say go Freeman because it's just Freeman, you know, it rhymes. But I said L'Oreal so no one would say I'm being biased in the comments. Can you tell which one is Freeman and which one is L'Oreal? I do want to say this. The Freeman side is a little more watery, if you could tell. And L'Oreal is a little more of a thick paste. You can even tell on my neck. Like I had a lot of trouble smearing the L'Oreal side down. I also want to say this to you guys. L'Oreal is a high-end drugstore brand. So, you know, we want to expect more from L'Oreal as we should because they're a little bit of a high-end drugstore brand. Now, it may be high-end because of packaging i don't know but it is like oh if you you know how when we were growing up i don't know but you know how your parents would grow up and they will buy you like queen helene or like the cheek uh skincare products and then they would get olay and l'oreal or for instance it's like cereals you know you get the uh the kroger or fries or rouse whatever the uh store brought captain crunch why they get the good captain crunch you know that's what i'm trying to say it's like the good captain crunch and you get the store broken <laughs> that's all i'm saying that's that's how you know we're comparing the masks but they all but they both do the same thing so i'm gonna let them sit for 10 minutes and this is what l'oreal looks like and this is what um what uh freeman looks like they're both detoxifying charcoal mask okay so go l'oreal go freeman okay you guys so my face is dry it's been about 15 minutes that's how long i kept it on it was still a little wet in some places and i wanted it to fully dry so this is what it looks like this is l'oreal i smiled a little bit so yeah and this is 
Freeman. So they're both really, really, really tight and you can feel them literally lifting my skin. This one is actually a little more tighter and I think that's because of the water. But then when I talk, this one gets tighter. So I don't know. We are going to see what my face looks like after. So let's just go wash it off. Whew. Okay, so this is L'Oreal. <laughs> And this is Freeman. I'm going to do a close-up. So here's my chin. Where's my mirror? Oh, I hope I'm grabbing the mirror. <laughs> this is my chin. Oh, I still have some on my face. Okay, so I still have some of the Freeman on my face. Let me get it off real quick. Oh, get that. Oh, okay. There we go. So L'Oreal Freeman. Uh mouth mouth nose forehead freeman oh i still have some of the freeman okay so i mean l'oreal so they're really both hard to come off i'm coming to that conclusion and this is l'oreal so freeman i mean l'oreal oh i'm, I'm confusing y'all l'oreal <laughs> freeman okay so okay what do you guys think let me know in the comments what do you think hmm let's talk about it you know honestly overall they both look the same to me and they both performed the same uh with that being said i personally would choose the freeman one on smell alone because the l'oreal site is lingering also i do want to say this the l'oreal site is a little bit red and there's a little bit irritation and a little texture that I got on this side of my face from the L'Oreal mask versus this side of my face, which is a little bit not texture. It's a little bit smoother and the redness is not as bad as we if we're just comparing. I will say the L'Oreal side of my face is much smoother. It's much softer, which means there's just a little bit more moisture on the L'Oreal side of my face. It could be from the rice starch because they did add rice starch in it. So it could be from the rice starch. And the Freeman one is not as moisturizing. It's drying out quickly. I will be putting Laramar Elixir on my face. You can find Laramar Elixir at SavvyNaturalista.com. Laramar Elixir contains all natural blue tansy essential oils. So make sure you check that out at SavvyNaturalista.com. And I will say the Freeman side of my face is really dry. So it needs more moisture than the L'Oreal. I'm going to be honest. If we're talking price wise, I'm going to go and buy Freeman. You get six ounces for $6 versus one ounce. I think you forgot you get about one ounce or two ounces for $12, $13 on the L'Oreal side. With that being said, they did add three clays, but L'Oreal did add two, which is bentonite and kaolin. And everybody know bentonite and clay and kaolin. A lot of people don't know Moroccan, Moroccan lava clay, which technically L'Oreal added as the seventh or eighth ingredient in their mask. So it's not really at the beginning of the list. And I will give credit to Freeman for adding bentonite clay and kaolin clay as uh the third ingredient so there's water kale and clay then bentonite clay with l'oreal you have the you have water kale and clay then monomoral like clay which is a very cheap clay in itself from what i've read on the clay so you know honestly i would just tell you to go ahead and pit uh buy purchase the if it was me and i was at the store I would actually go ahead and purchase Freeman. That would just be me now. I mean, you could purchase whatever one you like. I really do think my face looks much better on the Freeman side. I will say the L'Oreal side will give you more firmness. Uh, but I feel my skin is still tightening on the L'Oreal side. I will also say I did get a little texture. Maybe it was more of a reaction. I don't know. But there is a bit of texture for me on my skin. I also want to say because the mask was so 
hydrated we could say on the l'oreal side laramar elixir i just feel it's not uh seeping into my skin as much as it is on the freeman side so honestly freeman won this one however on the surface of things you know there's really not a big difference but for me my personal opinion it's a huge difference <laughs> And I would actually go for Freeman, but that's just my opinion. Let me know in the comments down below. Below, Have you tried both masks and which one is your favorite of the two? I really think the Freeman one won, honestly. That's just my opinion. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this episode of the Battle of the Dupes. Which one would you rather buy? Because it's really not duping. It's honestly, which one would you rather buy? Because they're both drugstores. One is Kroger cereal and one is Captain Crunch, the real one. Anyways, I want to thank you. Or Walmart. What is Walmart cereal name? I forgot. Equate. Is it Equate? No, that's not their cereal. I don't know. Walmart. Y'all messy. Great value. One is great value. And one is the real Kellogg's Quaker cereal. <laughs> or General Mills. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you check out SavvyNaturalistas.com for all your skincare needs. And I'll see you guys in our next episode of Which Would You Bet Rather Buy. I love you guys so much. Bye, you guys.